He practiced yesterday just fine, went through shoot around today just fine. So we don't know if he is available or how much he might play, but we do anticipate seeing him here tonight. Let him get a couple touches in the paint, play through him, see if Syracuse doubles, and then go from there. There is that combo, Copeland with the no-look pass and the throw down by Brown. Copeland with the beautiful find, uncontested dunk. The pressure that they're putting on Boston College early on. Taylor up against the timer, doesn't get the roll. Starling was up above the rim and thought better of trying to tip it in. Harris, great oh move, right to the bucket for his first two. Playing fast, uh, plays into the favor of Syracuse. They try to get him a touch right there, but it's got to be a better pass. Swing that ball to the wing and let him post up. Off the ground, steal! The hammer at the other end by Bell. Doug, I think he is the X factor for Syracuse. Him hitting his first shot in this game, I think, is huge. Uh, you see he's playing with a different energy. Brown, the block. Here comes Bell again. Taylor joins him. <laughs> Kelly with another steal. Quick hands for double zero. Left alone in the corner. BC's only 3 of 14 from the floor. Post has it poked away. Again, it's Brown. And again, it's Bell. A little windmill. Passing lane, and you are going to see a windmill. Syracuse continues to roll. Benny Williams takes a seat. Justin Taylor back in. Bell with a clean look. When he sets his feet, it's a pretty good bet that shot's going in. Their largest lead of the night. Zachary lost it on the inbound. Rounds pass, a dangerous one, comes to Copeland. Dancing his way to the bucket for two more. It's got to be better with the ball. Another steal and another run out for Bell. A dozen points. Defense just continues to produce points. Chris Bell with a dozen to lead SU. He's doing it again this year. He's averaging better than 50% from the floor, 40% from three, and better than 80% from the line. BC now starting to cook a little bit. Kyle Cuff also back off the Syracuse bench. Got to the basket, just couldn't finish. And one on second effort, the Orange with two more. Harris uses the screen. Look out. He can put points up in a hurry. Ball into the hands of Judah Mintz. Has it knocked away. BC with it. Three seconds to go. Two seconds. Here comes Madsen. Let's the defender go by. And a huge close to the first half for the Boston College Eagles. Go into the half for Boston College to cut this deficit to 10. Syracuse has never trailed, but Boston College has. Court shot, see if we get out of here. We might be here for a while. Yeah, that could be. <laughs> let, me, let me scratch that. Hell no, a league bay with another rebound. BC down by 11, six minutes gone in the second half. Harris steps into the three. Boy, that's a pretty stroke, even with a hand in his face. And a quick release. Harris. Couldn't make it two in a row from the same spot. Long rebound comes to Kelly. Harris will try again. He's got it. 16. Here comes BC with an advantage, five on four. Madsen takes advantage and has a big smile for the Boston College bench. And that's what you want to do. Malcolm, this is the closest it's been since six nothing. Quadier Copeland, tough shot. How did he get that up and over the defender? Here goes Kelly, able to get to the basket again. Boston College within four. The BC defense is not allowed a point in four and a half minutes. Five to shoot, Bell puts it up, and in. Jaden Zachary and also Quentin Post on the bench for Boston College. Copeland. with Harris, Zachary, and also Post on the bench. And having trouble keeping the ball. Able to get to the basket. McLaughlin, he'll have a chance for three. Down the stretch tonight. He's got a double-double. 
Uh, 10 points, 11 boards, and none bigger than that one right there. It's been a decade since Boston College came into the dome and beat the Orange. That was in overtime. Malik Brown off the pretty feed from Claudier Copeland. Copeland dumps it off. There's that combo again. Sophomore to sophomore. Give Malik Brown 15 points. And then on the other end, beautiful find by Copeland. <laughs> Another dunk. And in the paint. Cleaning it up once again is Devin McLaughlin. Quentin Post, well, one of the best bigs in college basketball, holding him scoreless in this game. There's your exclamation point. Brown the steal and the slam. He's got 19 points. And we talked at the top what a big game this was for both of the teams. Both 10 and 4, both 1 and 2 in league play. And it's the Orange that prevails. 69-59, your finals.